Hello everybody, today we're working on taking a virtual road trip. So here are the road trip instructions and rubric that we handed out in class. And the main thing you want to take a note of here is at the top, the um, size of the communities, cities, or destinations that you need to choose when choosing your destinations for your road trip to make your postcards. We're making these uh, imaginary postcards in Microsoft Publisher. So make sure you take note of the size of the cities. You can't pick all giant cities. They have to be uh, within these different population uh, sizes here. Also, uh, one other area of interest could be another large city or it could be, you know, the Grand Canyon or something like that or a national park, maybe Yellowstone or something. And this one right here, visit the state capital of any state that you wish so that may also be another large city so you could actually have some larger cities because of the state capital of, of any state you wish and then uh, other area of interest down here on the rubric also we have that we're going to have a total of six postcards 10 points possible per postcard for a total of 60 points a 60 point project again we'll be creating these po uh, postcards in Microsoft Publisher, and here are the uh, things that you'll need on each postcard. The name, a location, a photo of the place that you visited, the date and time tr and travel to get there, the miles driven since your last postcard location, the population of the city. If it is a city, you may not need a uh, population if you're at a place that doesn't have a population, such as the Grand Canyon, perhaps, on one of your postcards. Uh, where you plan to go next, and a short story about your trip, which can be some made up creative details about your trip. All right, let's take a look at the notes pages that I gave you uh, to write your name on in class. And right here we have our starting destination is Brown Road, Denham Springs, the, local, the address of Southside Junior High. And you need to pick your ending destination. And then here we'll record our miles traveled to get there and how long it takes to get there, our travel time. And we're going to do that using Google Maps. Um, let's take a look at Google Maps right now. And I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to go to Google Maps right here. And let's see, our address again is going to be 12460 Brown Road. So I'm going to click on this right here, get directions. So 12460 Brown Road. And it's a new address, so it's not popping up since we have a new location for Southside. Here you go, Brown Road, Denham Springs. There we go. All right. And on our other chart that I gave you, you just have to pick a destination. Let's look at our example chart. They came up with Fort Worth, Texas. So we'll put Fort Worth, Texas. We're not, we don't have to put an address. We have to put a city though. We can't just put Texas. Oops. Fort Worth, Texas. And then we're going to click. Oh, all right. So It'll show you a route from Denham Springs and how to get all the way to Fort Worth, Texas, the best route to take. And we can see here that it's going to take about seven hours and 19 minutes and 487 miles. All right. So what we would do on our chart is we would put Fort Worth, Texas here and we would put 487 miles, if that's what I said. And what was the time? Yeah, we would put seven hours and 19 minutes for the time to get there and 487 miles to get there. All right, then we would obviously have to go to maybe Google, find out some information about Fort Worth, Texas population of Fort, population of Fort Worth, there we go. So the population as of 2016 is 854,113. So all we would need to do 
is uh, on our other chart. So you see the population has grown since this, uh, this example was made. So we'd have to put the population right there. If there was a particular, this is on the other side of the notes page that I gave you. So you have a front and a back of your notes page. Uh, on the flip side of your notes page uh, is where you'd write Fort Worth, Texas, where you're going. And you'd put the population, all right, the updated population. This is just an old example, all right? If there was a particular place we wanted to go in Fort Worth, Texas, we could put the address if we wanted to. Or if we wanted to use, if we're going to use interesting facts, and here's our interesting facts. So we're going to put something interesting about Fort Worth, Texas to help us write our postcard. So if our interesting fact has the Texas Motor Speedway, we could put the address of Texas Motor Speedway as our address if we wanted to. All right. And we would use these interesting facts right here. A couple of interesting things there are to see or do in Fort Worth, Texas, and that'll help us make up our imaginary postcard. All right, so now from Fort Worth, Texas, we need to choose a new place to go. And in this example, we went to Springfield, Ohio. All right, so on our chart here, we would put, we would have Fort Worth, Texas here, the miles traveled and the time right here. And right below the address for uh, Southside on Brown Road, Dem Springs, we would say we were, now we're starting from Fort Worth, Texas, right here in this blank, destination A, and now, Destination B, we're going to go to Springfield, Ohio, all right? And we would go back to uh, Google Maps, and we would start over and get directions. So we would type uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth, Texas, and our destination is going to be Springfield, Ohio. There we go. All right, there we go. So if we were here at Fort Worth, Texas, and we drove all the way to Springfield, Ohio, it would take us 22 hours and 29 minutes, and it would be 1,524 miles. And here is the route that you would drive all the way through Nashville and Louisville, and Cincinnati all the way to Springfield, Ohio. All right. You would take that information, of course, put it on your chart. You would Google the population of Springfield, Ohio, which is probably going to be a higher number than that, maybe. And then an address, if you want, for somewhere in Springfield, Ohio. And then something interesting to do in Springfield, Ohio. All right. Some interesting fact about a place to go or something like that to make your postcards. So you would continue this process, filling in both the front and back of your chart to get the miles traveled and the travel time. And the other side of the chart is, of course, where you went and the population and some interesting facts. All right. And then eventually we want to be able to create a postcard in Publisher. How do we get to Publisher, Coach? Well, let's see. We're going to type P-U-B-L. All right. Here it is. Publisher right here. We're going to open up Publisher. And up here at the top, click, it's going to open up on Featured. We're going to click on Built-in, click on Built-in, then scroll down. So we get to Postcards right here. We're going to click on Postcards. And the marketing postcards are probably the best ones to use. It'll be the easiest to use. There's about eight of them right here. But click on this folder next to All Marketing, and you'll see a whole bunch more will open up. Whole bunch of postcards and the sample postcard I showed you in class is I use this one right here and all you would do is delete these items that you don't need now hit the delete key and uh, if you want to put some of the interesting facts off on the side instead of making it a part of your story you could use some of this on the side so if you wanted to put you know, uh, you know, miles driven uh, to get there. You can put that right here. And, uh, or you can include these, you know, the population, uh, the hours driven. You can put that off to the side, even the population, perhaps. You want to even put the population off to the side? Ah, keep messing up.
Anyway, if you wanted to put the population off to the side, you could do that as well. Um, let's say you went to Fort Worth, Texas up here. Oops. Fort Worth, or you could put Fort Worth, Texas on there. And so you could put a picture of the motor speedway, perhaps right here, for our example, uh, up here, maybe meetings from Fort Worth, Texas. There we go. Whoops. Greetings from Fort Worth, Texas. All right. So you could do something like that. Uh, you may want to delete that part right there. Click on this, get rid of that. Let's see, hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of this. Click on the corner, hit delete. There you go. Now I would use this as my main area to make my postcard. I'll go ahead and pull this up some and uh, go ahead and delete all that and say, uh, make sure this is left justified. We don't need it centered and say, uh, you know, dear whoever, dear your mom and dad, whatever. Uh, greetings from Fort Worth. My friend and I drove whatever it was, you know, seven hours and 20 minutes to get here. I don't remember how, how long how long it took to get there, but that was just an example. Then you can make up something about, you know, we went to the Texas Motor Speedway and watched the race. The cars were really fast, something like that. We could put a picture, uh, you could copy and paste a picture of uh, Fort Worth, or you may have to actually save that into your uh, pictures and then insert it however it works. Just try it. Go to insert. Actually, you can do insert online pictures. Let's try that right here. Let's say Fort Worth. Wow, here we go. All right, so if this is Fort Worth, Texas, which would be a good one to use. Well, go ahead and use that one. Insert. All right, so here's a picture of Fort Worth. We'll make it a little smaller so it'll fit over here. And, you know, we could go find another picture, too, if we want it and put another one here or maybe one off to the side. Come up with our little imaginary story here. Just make sure you talk about uh, the population, the miles driven to get there, uh, the hours and minutes uh, it took to get there. And then some little imaginary story about something interesting that you did there. Uh, completely made up. Obviously, it's fine. Um, and that's about it, guys. The virtual road trip project is not intended to be something too hard and you're going to make these you're going to save these postcards in your OneDrive you're going to save as uh when you go to save as let's see I'm going to save it on this PC right here for now and it should be a publisher file when you save it it should be a publisher file so the first one uh you could save instead of publication 1 if this was you know Fort Worth I would put uh you know Fort Worth as the first port postcard so you can show me well here's my first postcard i went to fort worth and you can put a one by it also to know that that's the first postcard all right so when you save that when you show me your postcards here's fort worth number one here's uh springfield ohio number two here's whatever number three here's whatever number four and you can just show me click 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 and i'll glance at the postcards i'll make sure you have all the required information uh, in each postcard, and if you do everything, uh, you should easily get your 60 points, your full 60 points, all right? If you leave out a picture or you leave out the miles driven or the hours or the population, and, you know, I'll take off a point for each thing that you're missing, okay? So just don't forget to put all that stuff in there. And, again, make sure you look at the size requirements of the uh, cities uh, that I'm asking for you to do also from the rubric. Other than that, should be pretty fun, should be pretty easy to do. All right, hope this was helpful. And I'll 
check your working class.